I hope you got that. The right answer is 3%. And this comes from a combination of arithmetic and estimation. What you first have to do is a rough approximation of how much of this gene is actually coding for protein. And just a ballpark I'd estimate, I'd say about 10% of the line is boxes uh, and the rest is introns. How long is the gene? Well, the gene's probably about 20 kb, and that means that there's approximately 2 kb coding for protein. There's about 900 genes on the chromosome, and if they're all like this one, as we're assuming, that means there's about 1,800 kb, 1 1.8 million base pairs on this chromosome code for protein. But the pro chromosome itself is 60 million base pairs, which is 60,000 kb, 60,000 base pairs. And that means that about 3% codes for protein. Now, what we've done, we've dived into the structure of a single gene on a chromosome. We've seen that, yeah, the gene's mostly introns. And we've looked at the arrangement of genes over a large scale on the chromosome, seen that most of the chromosome is actually unused space. You'll see this even more dramatically if you look at the chromosome, I think it's chromosome 7 flyover video that's available on the module one page. Um, but despite mostly being introns and unused space, there's still millions of base pairs coding for protein on each of our chromosomes. Now, coming up next, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about DNA sequencing, just because DNA sequencing has become so important to our understanding of genetics. I hope to see you there.